I would like to extend sincere and heartfelt condolences to Gabby's family. As every parent can imagine, this is an incredibly difficult time for the family. Heartbreaking news out of Grand Teton, Wyoming tonight, where searchers found a body matching the description of missing Long Island native Gabby Petito. Good evening, everyone. I'm Sandra Bookman. And I'm Joe Torres. The last reports of 22-year-old Gabby Petito in Grand Teton Park came in late August. That was nearly four weeks ago. Now her parents filed a missing persons report on September 11th, 17 days after they last received a phone call from her. Today, the grim discovery of the remains found again remains matching her description. And just minutes after the FBI released the update, Petito's father tweeted a photo of Gabby and wrote, she touched the world. Meantime, law enforcement in Northport, Florida, have been conducting their own search for Gabby's fiance, Brian Laundrie. He was last reported to be at his parents' house last Tuesday. We have live team coverage and all the latest developments. We begin with Eyewitness News reporter Kristen Thorne in Northport, Florida. Kristen. Joe and Sandra, we are here live outside the home of Brian Laundrie's parents here. Uh, it is very quiet here. In fact, we're not even sure where his parents are at this point. We do know that several of Gabby Petito's family members are in Wyoming, and they got the news they did not want to hear. Full forensic identification has not been completed to confirm 100% that we found Gabby, but her family has been notified of this discovery. The cause of death has not been determined at this time. We appreciate your continued support and patience as we work through this process. And with that, the search for Gabby Petito in Wyoming seems to have come to an end. Petito's family asked the media for privacy as they grieve. Shortly after the announcement by the FBI, Petito's father posted this image on Twitter of his daughter saying she touched the world. The focus of the investigation now turns to the whereabouts of Petito's fiance, Brian Laundrie. He is not a suspect in any crime, but he is nowhere to be found. For the second day in a row, police in Florida searched a reserve near Laundrie's parents' home where Laundrie is believed to have gone Tuesday morning. He hasn't been seen since. Police ended the search before dusk. We went inside the Carlton Reserve. It is 25,000 acres of muddy, swampy land with thick brush. Brian Laundrie and his family have refused to speak with investigators about what they knew about Petito. Laundrie was home in Florida 10 days before Petito's family reported her missing. The Laundrie family home in Northport, Florida was quiet Sunday evening. In the driveway sat Brian Laundrie Mustang. We've learned that Laundrie's parents picked up their son's car last Thursday morning at the reserve. The attorney for the Laundrie family says they looked for their son in the reserve Wednesday and Thursday before calling police Friday to report him missing. On getting word about the potential discovery of Petito's body Sunday, the Laundrie family said in a statement, the news about Gabby Petito is heartbreaking. The Laundrie family prays for Gabby and her family. And the Northport Police Department say they are not yet done with this case. They say they are going to continue to work with the FBI to find more answers. We're live in Northport, Florida. I'm Kristen Thorne, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Kristen, thank you very much. You know, what began as a four-month cross-country trip took an unexpected and apparently devastating turn. On July 2nd, Gabby Petito and Brian Laundrie left Blue Point, Suffolk County. Police in Moab, Utah, released body cam video that showed the couple after they got into some sort of argument on August 12th. Petito was crying and Laundrie had scratches on his face and arm. Police talked to both of them and separated them for a night to cool off. On August 25th, the last time Petito called her family. She said she was in Grand Teton, Wyoming at the time. On September 1st, Laundrie returned to Northport, Florida. He had arrived home one month early from the trip, and he was alone. On September 11th, the Petito family filed a missing person report for Gabby. And then six days later, Laundrie's family reported him missing from their Northport home. Today, the FBI announced searchers found a body that matched Gabby's description. And a Good Morning America exclusive. A woman says she picked up Brian Laundrie hitchhiking alone in Wyoming on August 29th, four days after the last time Petito called her family. 
Miranda Baker tells GMA that Laundry told her that he had been camping alone while Petito worked on their social media page in the van. Laundry eventually got out of Baker's car when she said she was heading to Jackson Hole. He got out and you know he was he was thankful and he was kind of in a hurry. So he said he was gonna go across the street into the parking lot and find someone else to give him a ride. But when we looked back, you know, 10 or 15 seconds after he got out of the vehicle, uh, he, he was gone. You can see the entire exclusive interview with Miranda Baker on Good Morning America tomorrow, beginning at 7 a.m.